welcome to Virtual Touch a Truck, brought to you by the River Forest Public Library. We've brought all the exciting trucks you love to explore at Touch a Truck to a screen near you. Join us as we meet some of the members of the community and the vehicles that they drive. Buckle up, because here we go! Today, we are at the River Forest Fire Department with Fire Marshal Kevin Wiley to check out one of the fire engines we have right here in River Forest. This is Miss Danny from the River Forest Public Library. My pronouns are she, her, and they, them. I'm Fire Marshal Kevin Wiley, and I'm a geek. All right, and we are at the River Forest Fire Department. All right, so Mr. Kevin, what is your job here? My job is the fire marshal. So basically, my job is to go and do fire inspections for fire safety uh, violations in all the buildings in town. Awesome. And what kind of vehicle do we have behind us today? This is our brand new engine. It's about two years old now. We had it, I think it was back in 2017, 2018. It is a, what we call an engine. We get all fire engines are fire trucks, but not all fire trucks are fire engines. Interesting. Could you explain that difference to us a little bit? Sure. We have a ladder truck. <clears throat> it just so happens to be it's, it's in for repair right now, but our ladder truck has a big ladder on top, and you can, when we've had past touch of trucks, we've had that out on the street. Um, right now we can't have that because it's been for beams and service. This is an engine, so this is the one that pumps all the water to the fire. All right, does it need to be a specific color? It doesn't need to be, but here in River Forest, all of our engines and all of our fire trucks in general have a red bottom and a white top. Cool, and is this truck, what is the coolest thing that this truck does? I guess you can say the coolest thing that this truck does is it cools the fire. So where are we walking into? This is the spot where the firefighter comes and he sits and he rides in this position on the way to the call. Cool. And there's some gear on the floor. And what do all these what do all these levers do? This is the actual pump pan or the pump control. So the, the the engineer stands here and sends all the he moves all those levers and sends the water into different hose lines that have been laid out to fight the fire. What we have here are two lines of pre-connected hose. And what it does is it allows us to lay the hose lines out faster than we normally would when coming off the back. So what do we have in here? This is a lot of the medical gear that we carry in. All of the firefighters that are on this vehicle are all firefighter paramedics. Excellent. So if they get a call, then the ambulance is on another call. This engine can take in the call and still do everything a paramedic at an ambulance would do, except for This compartment has the air tanks that the firefighters wear inside the fire. You really can't get to it from here, right? So watch this. Whoa! Well, the firefighter can just go over there, take it off, and put it on his back, and go into the fire. A couple other things we have all the different tools as well, and they also fly out, which allows firefighters to get in there and grab before they need to go inside the fire. We call these the iron, what's called the irons, and what that is is it has a flat-headed axe married to a halogen bar, and that allows a firefighter or two to virtually get in almost any door that we can. That noise you hear is a fan that's located up on top of the roof. What it does is when the firefighters start the vehicles, it captures all of the exhaust. It goes up this, this tube, yellow tube, and then it's exhausted out the building. And we do that for firefighter safety. Somebody would ask us where the ladder is on this truck. We used to have it on the outside, but it used to get real dirty and everything. All in this compartment and it's all hide hidden and but it's still protected so it's not going to get water and rain and everything on it. Here, these are our rescue tools and they're all battery operated so it makes it a lot lighter than what the older units used to be and we can take apart car doors and we can roll a steering wheel do all that this type of stuff to get somebody out of a, a, a deluge gun with this comes off and we attach this to the ground and we hook a hose line up to here and we can have it out there fighting the fire with no firefighters around. So we put compartments in here and we hold all of our extra air tanks for the firefighter. 
After showing us how many compartments there are on the fire engine, Mr. Kevin let me climb into the cab to get a view from the passenger seat. How cool is the view from up here? Then he took us on a drive around the block so you can see what it looks like to ride in a fire truck. He even turned on the sirens for us. Thank you, Mr. Kevin, for letting us explore the fire engine and showing us around. And thank you viewers at home for watching. We'll see you soon.